Hello, today I'm back with the CD collection video. This time we'll be focusing on Metalcore. Got mini bands to go through. We've got All That Remains, Azalea Dying, Kill Switch Engage, Trivium, Unearth, and some other bands. But let's go ahead and dive into this, starting off with All That Remains with their debut album, Behind Silence and Solitude. Then we got This Darkened Heart. Then we have This Calling Sampler, which is a promo sampler CD used to help promote their album, Fall of Ideals. And next we have The Fall of Ideals. And then we got the Overcome Sampler for promotional use only, used to help promote Overcome. And then we got Overcome, another pretty solid album for the band. Then we got For We Are Many, which I think is one of the band's best, and also has some pretty underrated deep cuts in my opinion, like From the Outside and Dead Wrong. Then we have War You Cannot Win, which I think is another solid album for the band. Then we'll be moving into their more weaker period, probably their weakest period, and the, probably the, the worst period in the band, starting off with The Order of Things. Not a very good album, but it does have a, a few songs I do like. Then we have Madness, another weaker album for them, but it does have a few songs I do like. And then they, the band returns in a strong way with Victim of the New Disease, which I think is their best since For We Are Many. But my copy comes with a signed CD booklet. But yeah, definitely a really good album. And I did hear their most recent single, Divine, which I'm still digging a lot. Definitely a really great single, definitely a really great song. Let's go ahead and move on to the next band, that band being Azalea Dying, starting off with their debut album, Beneath the Encasing of Ashes, which was not easy to find cheap. I mean, for me, I ended up having to get it from Amazon for like around 44 or 45 bucks, but either way, still worth having, still worth getting. But then we got Frail Words Collapse. And then we got Shadows Are Security. And then we got A Long March. And then we'll be moving to my favorite Azalea Dying album, An Ocean Between Us. And then we have The Powerless Rise. And then we have Decus, the EP. Then we have Awakened. And then we're moving to their latest album, Shaped by Fire, which I think is honestly one of the band's best. I think it's a pretty strong album. But that's it for Azalea Dying. Let's go ahead and move on to the next band, Avenge Sevenfold, starting off with their first album, Sounding the Seventh Trumpet. Then we have the self-titled promo sampler CD here, which was used to help promote Waken the Fallen. Then we have Waken the Fallen, which I think is one of the band's best. Then we got City of Evil, another really good album from, from them. Then we have the self-titled album which is actually my favorite album from the band. They experiment a little bit more with that album. They do try new things, but personally, I really dig the album a lot. But next we have Nightmare, another good album from them. And then we have Hail to the King, which for me, one of their weaker albums, but I do like the album though. And then we have The Stage, another solid album. Not one of my favorites, but I do like it though. They go in a more progier, more technical direction in that album, but still, I do like that album. But then we have Life is But a Dream. 
And that's it for Avenged Sevenfold. Let's go ahead and move on to the next band. That band being Bull for My Valentine. Starting off with their self-titled EP. Then we have the Hand of Blood EP. Then we have this promo CD here, promo sampler CD, which you can maybe call a promo split CD because you have songs from Bleeding Through and songs from Bull for My Valentine. Then we have The Poison, which comes with a bonus DVD. Then we have Scream and Fire, which I think is one of the band's best. And this is the deluxe edition. Then we have Fever, and this is the tour edition. And I got this signed copy from a record store, actually. For like 12 or 13 bucks, I believe. And then we have Temper Temper. This is the deluxe edition, which comes with bonus tracks. And I think the album is all right. It is one of their weakest, but I do think it's at least okay. But then we have Venom. Definitely another really good album. And this is the deluxe edition, which comes with some extra, some extra tracks. And then we have Gravity. Then we have the self-titled album, signed by all band members, and I got this from the band's online store. And then we have the deluxe edition of the self-titled, which comes with some bonus tracks. When it comes with the bonus tracks, Stitches and This Means War are probably my favorites. Well, that's it for both for our Valentine. Let's move on to the next band, Kill Switch Engage, starting off with their debut album, the self-titled. Then we have Alive or Just Breathing, which I think is one of the band's best. Then we have The End of Heartache. Then we have As Daylight Dies, Sampler for promotional use only. Then we have As Daylight Dies, Special Edition, and I think As Daylight Dies is the best of the Howard Jones era. Some people point to the end of Heartache as the best one or as their favorite Kill Switch album, but personally, when it comes to the Howard Jones era, I'm definitely team As Daylight Dies. But End of Heartache is still another solid album for them, of course. And then we have the second self-titled album, which I think is probably one of their weakest, but still a solid album, though. But that would be their final album with Howard Jones. And then Jesse comes back with this album, Disarm the Descent, which comes with the bonus DVD, at least my copy. But yeah, definitely a really good album. Then we have Incarnate, and my copy comes with some bonus tracks. And then we'll be moving to their latest album, Atonement, which honestly I think is one of their best. I absolutely love this album when it came out, and I still dig it to this day. But my copy comes with a signed booklet. And I believe I got this CD copy from either the band's online store or New Beery Comics. I can't remember, it was one of those two though. But moving to the next band, we have Light the Torch, which is the band that Howard Jones is currently in now. Starting off, we got Revival. Then we got You Will Be the Death of Me. And that's it for Light the Torch. Moving on, we'll be moving to Spirit Box. Now with Spirit Box, I've heard them be called Metalcore and other pe and heard other people say uh, Gent, but I decided to include them in this video just to, just to play it safe, but Starting off, we have Eternal Blue, their debut album, and definitely a pretty strong debut album, I'd say, too. And then we got the Fear of Fear EP, which I thought was one of the best releases from last year. Not a single week track on it. Spirit Box continuing their strong streak of not having a single bad song. But yeah, proving that they can do no wrong, at least so far, but yeah. Moving on to the next band, we have Times of Grace with the hymn of a broken man. I got this signed copy from the band's online store. 
Then we have Songs of Loss and Separation. And I got, and my copy comes with a signed booklet. Also got that from the band's online store, I believe. But that's it for Times of Grace. Let's move on to my favorite band when it comes to the world of metalcore. That band being Trivium, starting off with the two song promo sampler for Ember to Inferno. But yeah, for promotional use only. But moving on, we have their debut album, Ember to Inferno. Then we have Ascendancy, and they're about to do their tour, celebrating the anniversary of this album with Bullfire Valentine, with them celebrating their anniversary of The Poison. And I'm I, I'm definitely looking forward to what whatever the US dates are gonna be. I hope they come here because I'll definitely pay extra to do VIP to meet both of those bands. But next we have Trivium. Or Trivium with their album, The Crusade. <laughs> but now we're moving to my favorite Trivium album, Shogun. And at this point, maybe one of my favorite albums of all time. There's not a single week track on it. Absolutely love this album. But moving on, we have In Waves. Then we got In Vengeance Falls, which I think is kind of an underrated album. You do have Strife, but you do have some under some deep cuts on here that I think are somewhat kind of underrated, like To Believe and Villainy Thrives. Then we have Silence in the Snow, which does get a share of flack because especially with the no screaming on it and all that. But for me, that didn't really harm the album, at least for me personally. I personally really dig the album. I got this signed copy from a local record store, but yeah, I'll always be a defender of this album. I do really enjoy this album still. But next we have Ab Initio, if I pronounced that correctly. Then enters Alex Bent starting with The Sin and the Sentence, which I think is one of the band's best. I do still have my box set for this album somewhere. Then we have What the Dead Men Say. I got this signed copy from the band's online store. Then we have their latest album, In the Court of the Dragon, which I think is another album that I think is one of the band's best, but my copy is signed right there. Yeah, and The Core of the Dragon, I'd say at least a top five trivium album for me. But now for the final trivium CD here, we got Dead Men and Dragons, and this is for promotional use only. This comes with a magazine. I didn't know about the CD until I noticed it being listed on uh, Discogs, and yeah, saw it there, figured, hey, why not? But yeah, definitely pretty cool to have. That's it for trivia. Moving on to the next band, we have Unearth, starting off with The Stings of Conscience. Then we have The Oncoming Storm, which I think is one of the band's best. And then we have In the Eyes of Fire, definitely another really good album for them, and another album that I think is one of the band's best. Then we're moving to my favorite Unearth album. The March. But yeah, with this album, I think it's definitely one of the best albums from the year 2008. Absolutely love this album. Some of my favorites being, of course, My Will Be Done, Hail the Shrine, Crow Killer, Letting Go, We Are Not Anonymous. So many killer tracks off this album. Definitely, again, one of my favorite album from them. Then we have Darkness in a Darkness in the Light. Which for me, one of their weaker albums, but still a solid album though. Then we have Watchers of the Rule, which I, I'll be honest, I think is one of their weakest, but still a solid album though. Then we have Extinctions. And finally, finally their most recent album, The Wretched of the Ruinous, which I think was one of the best albums from last year. And that's it for Unearth. Moving to the final band, we have Woven War with Self Titled. And lastly, their final album with Honor Is Dead. But yeah, that is my CD collection when it comes to Metalcore. Let me know your thoughts on my collection. Let me know what CDs you have from the Metalcore bands that you listen to and all the good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and a like, subscribe. 
Have a nice day and take care.